Ever wondered what ethanol blended petrol is and why it's becoming more popular? Well, let's dive into it. Ethanol blended petrol is simply petrol that's been mixed with a very pure type of alcohol called ethanol. This ethanol is a biofuel made from plant materials, typically corn, sugarcane, or other sugar rich crops. So, in essence, you're filling your tank with a fuel that's part gasoline, part plant power. Now, why the increasing popularity? It's largely due to the global push towards cleaner, renewable sources of energy. With climate change and environmental degradation being top of mind concerns, solutions like ethanol blended petrol are gaining traction. And it's not just a fad, this blend enhances fuel quality resulting in smoother and more efficient combustion. Digging deeper, we can discover the benefits and challenges of ethanol blended petrol. So stay tuned as we delve into the world of this plant powered fuel. There are several benefits of ethanol blended petrol that make it an attractive alternative to conventional fuels. For starters, when ethanol, a biofuel made from plant materials, is mixed with petrol, it enhances the fuel quality. This results in a smoother and more efficient combustion process, which is good news for your vehicle's engine. Moreover, ethanol blended fuel emits less carbon dioxide when burned, helping to mitigate the effects of climate change. But it's not just about the environment. Ethanol is a renewable source of fuel, which means it helps reduce dependency on fossil fuels, making it a sustainable choice for the long term. Furthermore, the production of ethanol from agricultural crops stimulates economic growth in rural areas. It provides farmers with a market for their produce, injecting money into local economies and promoting development. While these benefits are significant, it's also important to consider the challenges associated with ethanol blended petrol. Despite its benefits, ethanol blended petrol also has its own set of challenges. One of the key issues is the lower energy content. Due to its chemical structure, ethanol contains less energy per unit volume compared to petrol. This means when it's burned, it produces less energy than regular petrol, resulting in lower mileage. Furthermore, ethanol is more hygroscopic than regular petrol. In simpler terms, it absorbs water more readily. This can potentially lead to corrosion in fuel tanks and other engine components. When it comes to production, ethanol blended petrol is also more expensive. These costs include the transportation and storage of ethanol, as well as the blending and testing of the finished product. And let's not forget the consumer. The combination of lower mileage and higher cost can make blended petrol less appealing posing a significant challenge for its adoption as a regular petrol replacement. Yet, despite these challenges, countries around the world are increasingly adopting ethanol blended petrol. Countries are adopting ethanol blended petrol for a variety of reasons. Despite the challenges, the pressing need to address environmental degradation and climate change is a driving force. Ethanol blended petrol emits less CO2 when burned, offering a greener alternative to traditional fuels. Energy diversification is another compelling factor. Countries are eager to reduce their dependence on imported fossil fuels, and ethanol blending provides an opportunity to do just that. Moreover, the production of ethanol supports the agricultural sector, providing a market for crops like corn and sugarcane and bolstering rural economies. And let's not forget, transitioning to electric vehicles is a huge task. It involves a complete overhaul of infrastructure, including charging stations and power grids. In the interim, Ethanol and other biofuels are serving as a valuable bridge. One of the countries leading the way in the adoption of ethanol blended petrol is India. In India, the use of ethanol blended petrol is not just an option, it's a government mandate. The Indian government has taken the initiative to promote ethanol blended petrol through its ethanol blended petrol or EBP program. This initiative mandates oil marketing companies to blend petrol with ethanol. As of now, every liter of petrol sold in India contains 10% ethanol. The end game? To bump up this blending rate to 20% by the year 2025. And the government isn't stopping at mandates. To ensure a smooth transition to blended petrol, they're providing subsidies to automakers and ethanol producers. They've even fixed a minimum price for ethanol. From improved fuel quality to supporting rural economies, the benefits of ethanol blended petrol are clear. But as with any innovation, it comes with its own set of challenges. It's up to us to weigh the pros and cons and make informed decisions about our fuel choices.